Ready to get this one underway. It is a packed house here in Lubbock tonight. Just absolutely great weather for the opener of this three game series. Here's the 0-2 pitch, swings and misses strike three. Hanson hasn't walked many, only six batters this season. That ball's lined into right field, hit pretty well by Morrell and Red Raiders. Going to do what Texas did. Leadoff batter hits it out to right field. That's a home run for Morrell, his second of the season. Will tie the ball game at one. Both of these pitchers paying a price to these leadoff guys. One out, no one on, and has up that batting average to 387. Hits that one well to left field, and that one's out of here as well. Home run. That ball is long gone for the Red Raiders second baseman, his fifth home run of the year, and he's getting around the bases in a hurry. that ball pretty well into left center field a very long run for Hodo and he's not going to get it that ball is out of here Red Raiders have their third home run of the night as Hudson White blast one out here in the bottom of the second inning well, let me remind viewers you can probably see it there's a good look at the Three and one pitch is hit well into center field. Coming on for it is Dylan Carter. Can he get there? Diving attempt. Did he, did he make the catch? He did. Long run for Carter. Chase Young was in the vicinity, but a diving catch by Dylan Carter, and the inning is over for Texas. But the Longhorns do come up with a run on the home run by Melendez. It's 3 2 Red Raiders as we head to the home half of the seventh inning. What a play! Runner goes, pitch on the way, taken for a ball, throw down to second, not in time. Ball gets away from Faltini, backing up at second base, throw comes to third, but not in time to get Hudson White. A stolen base and a throwing error, and the Red Raiders have the tying run at third base. Ground ball, bouncer over towards first base. Melendez picked up the ball there, but really can't make the throw home. It kind of falls out of his hands. He was going to try and get Hudson White at the plate. <laughs> Here's the 0-2. Hey. Got him looking. Dylan Campbell is the second consecutive strikeout victim for Josh Sanders, and that ends the Longhorn. Hudson White trying to lay down another bunt, and he does, and hits it towards third base. Perfectly positioned. Nixon makes the throw to first base, but the Red Raiders have Kurt Wilson at third with one out. When pushing across from left to right, he steals the bag. Wow. He steals home. Kurt Wilson, while Nixon was on the mound looking down, has stolen home to win the ball game. Nixon never looked up and never even delivered the ball to Ardwan at home plate. How about that? By Kurt Wilson. Well, Nixon, as he would stretch, would really get in a real definitive pause and look down at his feet. And Wilson just takes off, and Nixon never sees it. Yeah. Nixon never sees it. My goodness. Dylan Carter there at the plate never gives away the fact that he sees Wilson coming home. Washburn had his arms up at second base well before that, but Kurt Wilson has stolen home with two outs in the bottom of the 10th inning to win the game for Texas Tech over the Longhorns, 5-4. to four. Gus, how about that? Wow. <laughs>